Hello ladies, uh, it's me Sophia. So I'm coming today with a get ready with me video. Um, so this is what I did today. So first, uh, I'm fresh out of the shower and I'm priming my eyelids. I'm using the Urban, De Urban Decay Primer Potion Eden. And then I'm gonna define my brows and I'm using the e.l.f. brow kit in medium. First I'm using the wax part and then I'm gonna uh, fill it in with the powder. So I'm just gonna do that. And this is the... This is love, I love this brow kit. That's how I do my eyebrows. And then this is actually um, the um, concealer. Um, it's not actually the one that came with in that packaging. <laughs> I actually put some of my um, Hard Candy Glamouflage concealer in there. It's easier to use. I'm just cleaning up the brows a bit. Now I'm going to start with the Naked palette and I'm going to put Naked on the lid and on the crease. I put Naked on there because I'm going to use Sidecar on top and I thought that would make it stand out a bit more but it actually didn't. It actually, um, I guess it kind of messed up what I was going for but I ended up making it work. I'm going to take a Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette and that's going to go on my brow bone. Then I'm taking T's and I'm putting that on the crease as well. Now I'm taking Smog and I'm going to put that on the outer V and also on half of my outer eyelid. And then I'm going to bring it into the crease as well. I totally did not know what I was going to do. I just came up with this look. So I'm just putting it in the crease. Next I'm taking Sidecar, I believe that is. So I'm taking it dry and putting that all over my um, eyelid. But as you can see, it wasn't sticking to the eye. So um, I decided to um, use it wet. Which you'll see in a little bit what I ended up doing. It actually worked out pretty good. So I'm just cleaning out the fallout. Especially with Sidecar, that eyeshadow has a lot of glitter and fallout. I'm just taking that dark brown and defining the outer V a little bit more. And now I'm going to um, use um, Sidecar Wet. As you can see, it just made it more pretty and it and stands out a little bit more. So I'm just defining the crease a little bit more with that same color, that um, kind of dark brown from the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Palette. And then next, I'm going to take that lighter brown and I'm going to blend all the colors together. Just gives it a more gradient effect. I'm cleaning uh, under the eyes again, kind of defining the outer part, making it a more sharp line. And now I'm going to apply my eyeliner. First, I'm using the Maybelline um, Line Stiletto, which uh, is my favorite eyeliner. And then on top of that, I'm using um, the Rimmel Scandalized Eyeliner, I believe it's called, because um, it has more of a matte effect I'm just reapplying sidecar there and I'm going with uh, the Rimmel eyeliner as you can see it's a little bit more dark and it dries uh, more of a matte finish and I'm gonna do a pretty um, long wing 
I felt like making my wing extra long today. You know, I'm applying the Benefit Professional um, Primer. And then I'm gonna apply my concealer. That's the foundation I'm gonna use, but first I'm gonna apply um, concealer. Uh, like I said again, this is the, um, it's in another packaging, but it's actually the Heart Candy Glamouflage Concealer in medium light. I'm just going to use that to highlight my under eye and conceal my dark circles. And today I'm um, using it with the um, Sonia Kashuk um, sponge. I, mean, I usually use my Soho sponge, but um, I just cleaned it and I didn't feel like getting it dirty, so I used this one instead. I know it's silly, but that's how hoarders think. So now I'm taking the Maybelline um, foundation, and I believe this foundation is already discontinued. I think it's the Mineral Foundation. And I think this one is in medium. I'm not sure. I'm just applying that all over my face with this um, Real Techniques uh, stippling brush. Now I'm going to set my under eye concealer with the e.l.f. HD powder, under eye setting powder. And then this is a Studio 35 um, setting powder brush. It's very fluffy, I love it. And then I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Matte to set my foundation. And I'm using it with the um, Real Techniques br uh, powder brush or buffing brush, whatever it's called. And then to contour, I'm using the e.l.f. Contour and Blush Duo. Just contouring my chubby face, my cheeks, and my temples. And then I always put some next to my nose just to give me a bronzy, glowy look. And I'm taking this blush from MARC in a Star Glow. And then on top of that, I'm using this NYX blush in Pinched. Just a very pretty combination. And I'm just putting some chapstick on my lips. And then I'm gonna tight line with this um, Urban Decay liner in Zero. And I'm just gonna put some mascara on. So I'm curling my lashes first and then applying mascara. And this is the Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara. I've been using this for the past um, couple weeks and I'm really liking it. Now I'm going to take Tease and I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. And then for my lips, I'm going to use um, Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in Think Pink. And then on top of that, I'm applying MAC uh, Lazy Day for a more glossy finish. Let me be using my Dual Glue. And I'm going to be applying some Kiss Lashes. I'm not exactly sure what number or what um, type they are, but just some uh, really natural looking ones. I think I show the packaging in a little bit. Excuse the noise, my husband's watching a movie really loud in the living room. So this is, the, that's the packaging, sorry that was super fast. So I'm just going to apply the other one and my camera cuts off but up next is going to be how I curl my hair and um, it's basically 
um, super simple so if you want to keep watching you can keep watching if not this is the end of the makeup look I hope you all enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe bye It is written. It is written. It is written.